It used to cost a fortune back when suburban Chicago's Wilmette pets sold only purebreds. Wouldn't be unheard of that dog sold for $1,800 to $2,000. Wow. And sales of so-called designer dogs made up 30 to 40 percent of owner Dave Cozzolini's business. It's always been a goal of mine to not need to sell puppies, to end the puppy sales. <laughs> It took three years to figure out a way to stay afloat without designer dog sales. But with the help of a local group, Adopt-A-Pet, Cozzolini did it. He now uses his shop to find homes for only shelter dogs and cats. After we first announced it, it was such a huge relief off of my shoulders um, that I can now help instead of add to maybe a problem. It is a problem on heartbreaking display at the nation's dog pounds. 20,000 cats and dogs are shuttled through this one giant facility in Chicago each year. I don't think people realize that in general, um, animal control facilities across the country euthanize at least 50% of the animals that walk in the door. That's seven of every 10 cats that are picked up and five of every 10 dogs. Three to four million cats and dogs each year. Getting these animals out in front of families, whether it's shelters, foster homes, or shops like Wilmette Pet, can mean the difference between life and death. Cozzolini's biggest surprise is that the shelter animals are finding homes faster than the purebreds did, on average four every week. Lucas here was adopted after just a day. Every time a dog gets a home, we feel good at the end of the day. And one more homeless animal gets to become the doggy or kitty in this window, where with any luck, they will find a good home. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.